Hi, and welcome to this week's One Minute YM. This is Sari with Starkweather Association Services, your partner in solving membership technology problems. This is our last part of our series on continuing education units or CEUs. If you haven't watched the first three, pause here and jump over to our YouTube channel or our website and watch those first. Today, we're gonna to discuss the ability to import CEU data into your membership platform. This feature makes it easy to bring over historical data from your old website when you first adopt YM, if you're an existing client and decide to start tracking within YM, or if you're looking to consolidate from a third-party system. So let's get started. Before we do any importing, we're gonna to need to make sure that you're set up correctly um, in YM. So we'll go to Features, Professional Development. In some of our other videos in this series, we go into details about the configurations and the options that you have here. And you can always contact us directly to set up your professional development or make sure that it's working before you do an import. So for here, we're gonna click on certifications. And you can see I have some created. You will need to create the certification before you can import credits into that certification. So you'll wanna come in here and create one or edit and make sure that all the required fields are filled out. Um, before you get started. So again, I'm not gonna go through these here, but you'll go through, make sure, and fill everything that has a red asterisk out and click save. And then you'll wanna keep that handy because you'll need this information to fill out our import document, which we'll look at in a second. So once we have this created, we'll wanna go over to our directory and CRM tab, click on data management, and here's our import guide and templates. Here we're gonna scroll down to professional development journal entry import template. There's a help doc here. I am gonna explain everything, but for future reference, if you wanna come back and look at this, and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on CSV, and that's gonna open up the Excel file or that CSV file for you to fill out. So I've gone ahead and filled this out. You're gonna need, like I said, the information from the back end of the site where you set up those certifications or programs. The website ID, this is a required field. This is the unique ID from the back end of the site for each member. So you'll want that information. And this example, I'm showing one record import, but you can do lots and lots, hundreds of these at once. Um, this field, make sure it gets to the right person. Instead of the website ID, if you have a unique constituent ID, you could also fill this field out. The certification code, this is also required. This is the code, again, matching exactly what it says in the back end of the site for that certification, the credit type in which the users must complete um, in order for that credit to go towards the certification that needs to match exactly from the back end as well. Entry date, now this would be an example if this was historical data. This would be the date that I or this record earned the CEUs towards that certification. Um, so let's say that I took a assessment back on uh, back in 2004, I'm putting that exact date, the description of that, how many credits this individual earned, if they expire the date, um, this is not required, the score is not required, that's optional, the activity code is also optional. Status, you will want to mark approved here, that way you don't have to go in and manually approve these credits. And then locked, this is a yes or no, really means is it editable or not. Um, so everything that you see here in yellow, highlighted in yellow, these are not required fields, everything else is required. So you'll fill that out for as many records as you'd like to do, and you'll click save. And let's go back to the back end of the site for importing. So from here, we'll click on import batch. We're gonna say create a new batch. Journal entries is the type. You'll select your file. Type in the batch name, which I usually just do the same name as the file name. Insert only, we're gonna say yes, and format will leave alone and click on continue. Scroll down, you just want all of these to match. So you can quickly just make sure that they're all the same. And then click save and continue at the bottom. Here we'll click pre-process. Depending on how many records you have, it can take a little bit longer if you have lots and lots of records. If you just have a few, it shouldn't take too long. When it's ready, you can go ahead and say Q import batch. If there are any errors, it will show you here. And then you'll say Q import batch. It's gonna just confirm that you wanna queue it. You'll say okay. And then it's gonna go ahead and process. 
after it's processed, just to double check, you can find a record that you know is in your data set and click to view their profile. From here, you'll see a participation tab and you can scroll down and you can see professional development section, the name of the certification, if it's complete or not. In this example, it was complete because we've earned the amount of credits required. And then um, the date that they expire, you can click on manage journal to see more. This just shows you the entry date, the details. If there was an activity code, you would see that here and the score, and then the date that it expires. To see what the member would see, you can log in as that member, scroll down to professional development, and this is what the member would see. Very similar, but it shows basically the same thing. The details are the name, the description, the credits, expiration, etc. So that's a wrap on our professional development series. Please reach out to us at engage at starkweather.us for help setting up or managing your professional development or CEUs or with anything else you might need. Thanks so much and have a great day.